I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the spoiler-free review for Doctor Sleep. Stanley Kubrick's The Shining is one of my favourite films of all time. It's been in my life for so long. The Shining is so precious to me, so anything that dares to recreate what Kubrick did already is met with violent, hostile faults. Even before I watched Doctor Sleep, I was disappointed, but I was for a good reason. I didn't like the book, I hated it. Click that link above to watch me verbally destroy it. You see, the book by Stephen King was so much about alcoholism, I just wanted a drink. Also, I wasn't keen on Ewan McGregor playing Jack and Wendy's son Danny Torrance. However, what intrigued me was Doctor Sleep's director, Mike Flanagan. I really liked his film, Absentia. I've never read a book I disliked so much, then watched the film version and really enjoyed it. Doctor Sleep is a brave achievement, and it's got some stunning visual creative imagination. The recreations are very accurate. Watching the story come to life, I get it. But the book, no, not for me. But the thing is, when they make a sequel to The Shining like this, the subject of being a sequel to one of the greatest horror films ever made, you really don't need well-known actors to sell it. I just wish unknown talent was used instead. Ewan McGregor is not an actor I appreciate. He'll always be that bloke from Train Spotting. However, he gives his best performance here. He is bloody good in this movie. Now, all the villains in Doctor Sleep are not sinister enough. If there were scenes where evil characters were explored, then the foreboding vibe would have been elevated. Rebecca Ferguson is great, but she's forgettable. Another actor might have made her character seriously stand out. Here's a comparison for you. In the remake of It, It might not have been so good if Bill Skarsgård wasn't cast. I feel Doctor Sleep has been produced with so much passion and respect, though a couple of the easter eggs were a little distracting. But this work is so carefully edited together and it's almost beautiful to watch at times. Doctor Sleep will never achieve the sense of dread Kubrick created. In a way, if Kubrick came back from the dead and made this film, it would have been unnerving, unforgettable and deeply terrifying. As it is, this is an exceptional film experience, and although I wish scenes took more time, like Kubrick would have done, I am genuinely surprised at how brilliant this effort is. In the original The Shining, in some creepy scenes, the sound of a heartbeat would kick in, but in Doctor Sleep it's overused, even when scenes aren't that scary. So yeah, it's a different vibe from The Shining, but this is a standalone horror film that includes some trippy visuals that are so brave. Click that link above to check my alternative ending to the original The Shining. And then you can experience my own sequel called Shining Fan. Now here's the trailer for my interactive website. This is William Friedkin. Don't panic. If your screen starts to bleed, you are about to witness bleeding critic. I'm the anonymous horror film critic, the creator and narrator of immersive scary stories. Bleedingcritic.com is the interactive horror platform where horror fans have a voice and are actually seen. Horror Memories, this is where you talk about that moment from any film that really damaged you. And there's more interaction for you with Horror Therapy. Share that moment from your real life where something scared or terrified you. I like short horror films, especially ones that don't get the attention they deserve. So if you've made a short horror film, send it to me. I'll even add a special filmed introduction. You can watch the short horror films I've chosen right now. On to my horror content. 
Scary Stories UK is my YouTube channel, so all my YouTube videos are here as well, and they will freeze your spine. Check out my interviews and photo galleries, and watch my spoiler-free film reviews. And when you see any of the films I've reviewed, you can add your own rating. Follow me across social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scary Stories UK. Follow and interact with me on Twitter, at Bleeding Critic, and on Instagram. Do a bit of retail therapy with clown merch. There's five designs of my face splattered over 50 different products. And Patreon is a way you can support my interactive horror platform and my YouTube channel from as little as $5 a month. During the time you've watched this video, I've scuttled along your ear canal into your skull and I ain't leaving.